Good morning, traders, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asian preview, the North American wrap. We had a uh, quite the session on this uh, holiday shortened week. Uh, let's get right to the charts because there was all sorts of uh, there was all sorts of action today. Starting with the S and P's. Remember, we talked about how we like to sell rallies. We're still selling rallies. We're selling rallies up to this 26.90 level. Just the 100 day moving average didn't quite get up there got some core shorts on this day was problematic here yesterday um, and look what happened completely reversed in the S&P and uh, we dropped about 1.8 percent on the day more importantly the Nasdaq massively underperformed we almost had a bearish engulfing day uh, we did go down and test this We did go down and uh, and try to take. We did we did take out intraday. We did, took out a couple days of lows, um, but then closed just above them. So it did save itself. We got down to a low of 64.90, and then bounced. Um, we'll take a look at this fib swing from the February low to that all-time high that was made in March. We're sitting here right around the 65, 65, two thirds FIBO. Uh, there's no reason we can't go down here another 100 points, 100, 140 points. And uh, I still like this target of the 200 day moving average, which we have not touched in ages, all the way back to uh, July 2016. So. I think that's the next spot now that we've closed under the 100 day uh, to the last three days. We think that it, uh, the next stop is 64.25 and then the 62 handle, 62.70. Uh, cryptos, Bitcoin, and Ethereum under pressure again today. Not much to say there. Uh, we think there's lower lows ahead. Let's pop over to the currencies, which is our, uh, kind of our bread and butter. Start with dollar yen. Pretty ugly daily chart here. Get rid of these fibos. Clean things up a little bit. So we had this bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, followed up by a. I don't like how this chart looks. Inverted hammer one could call that. I'm torn. We've got month end and quarter end flows coming in. A, we, we're we're con a little bit confused. We think there's some dollar buying. Um, maybe not necessarily against the yen, but uh, this is a this is an interesting daily bar. So I'd watch watch this closely in your session. Cable, we think there's cable buying in a month end quarter end the next couple days um, <clears throat> it got hit pretty hard today let's go to the hourly to show you on the 8, 8 a.m. London um, we had a bit of a sell-off broke through some of these lows at 142.20 and then pretty much collapsed all the way down to the 200 hour moving average that held and then we had a rally back up to 141.75 ish which is this uh, two-thirds fib of just kind of this recent swing that it looks like it's following pretty closely. So, uh, again, we do think we're expecting cable buying in a month end, quarter end, uh, playing this from the long side. Uh, Euro didn't do a whole lot today. It did have the sell-off. Again, this is 8 a.m. London. Almost looked like a dollar buy fix and then, uh, and then bounced a bit. But um, that was more of a sideshow. Let's go to the daily, some of the cross yen daily. This this got my attention earlier today when we uh, were sitting short some dollar yen and I was a little bit worried because it was acting very bid trading up at 105.70. But if you take a look at the uh, some of the yen crosses, Aussie yen reversal lower day, CAD yen reversal lower day, Euro yen reversal lower day. A lot of these closed on the lows too. 
sterling yen same and kiwi yen you know not as big a uh, reversal but um, we did we did see the uh, reversal lower day so yen cross is kind of weak across the board here's uh, Aussie dollar um, very ugly day after a couple of green bars made a new high up at 75.58 77.58 and then closed below one two three almost four lows of the past few days so that this brings a bigger picture and th this this fibo that we've been targeting 7660 um, we should get that tonight or uh, during your session and then down to the 75 handle so definitely some risk off there was no real catalyst today nothing fundamental there's no real news out tomorrow um, it just, uh, you know, we, we think that equities and risk is in sell rally mode, and you got this big spike yesterday in risk, especially in the NASDAQ and S&Ps, and uh, they failed again. They were kind of a one-day wonder bounce. <clears throat> Keep an eye on the Nikkei in your session, Australian shares. Uh, here's VIX. Let's go to... We've discussed this in the past. Uh, I'm going to show you a really ugly chart here. And that's Tesla, something that we are short of. Let's go here. I think this stock is in for a lot of just huge, huge sell off. I mean, it, it has come off a bit. It's down another 8 or 9% today closed on its lows we're we're taking we're filling in gaps we're we have new daily closes new new low weekly closes um, gaps to be filled here at uh, 286 we closed down here at 279 another gap here to be filled I think that was post earnings yeah sometime after the earnings 270 the area 242 there's another target um, I just drew this line this afternoon. So I think the stock's in trouble. I think the tech stocks in general are in for a big, a deeper correction. So keep it on that. Keep it on China shares and the uh, Nikkei. And good luck trading. You'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.